You can read by the title, you can look at the thumbnail. We're going to be talking about the NVIDIA settings that I use for FC25 because a lot of people have been saying in my comments, what are your NVIDIA settings? Why don't you have any problems when it comes to FC25? I'll be honest, I'm very fortunate and lucky to be in this position because a lot of players, there's a lot of people that have been reaching out to me and putting in the comments, my game's lagging, after this patch, my optimization's bad and... All that jibber jabber. It's happened last year. It will happen again because that's how EA is. So fingers crossed the next patch does fix it. If not, then I do apologize. For those who are wondering my NVIDIA settings that I use for the new viewers, I'll also be diving into my FC25 settings just to show you guys what I actually do and use. So let's jump into the NVIDIA settings. As you can see, I'm a monitor. As you can see, it's quite big. That's because I'm a widescreen user. I've recently upgraded and honestly, I'm never going back to flipping 16 by 9 and all that jibber jabber because honestly, gaming has been insane. Anyway, so you're probably wondering, I've changed hoodie, what the hell happened? I didn't know I was recording in 16x9. Because I have a widescreen, it only captures a 16x9. So half of the video is like this. So we're going to screw this. We're going to scrap this video. We're going to scrap that. And I'm just going to dive into it right now. You guys can't see my bottom right of the screen. But what you want to do is head to your NVIDIA control panel by right clicking on the little ink icon, NVIDIA icon. And as you can see, we are here. Thank goodness you can now see in video. So what we're going to do is dive into the 3D settings, then the display, then the video. So let's jump straight into it. So we have the adjust image settings with preview. As you can see, I just have it set to let the 3D application decide. I believe I haven't tweaked anything here. It's an FYI if you guys are wondering what I do in this section. But to manage... 3D settings and as you can see just a heads up majority of these settings are from other games like Valorant, Counter-Strike. I did tweak them for these specific games because obviously I wanted to get the max frames and max formats out of my computer to make it as smooth as possible. I'm not advising you guys to copy exactly my settings because every computer and laptop is different so I'm not advising you guys to copy my settings but you guys can tweak it how you think it would make a difference to your components. So yeah, we're gonna dive right into it and show you guys what I have. Uh, image scaling is off, ambient illusion off, histrophic filtering, application controlled, anti-aliasing, FXAA off, anti-aliasing gamma correction on, uh, anti-aliasing mode, application controlled, anti-aliasing setting is grayed out for me, anti-aliasing transparency off, background application max frame rate is off, CUDA GPUs, no idea what that is, but it's all CUDA system fallback policy, is driver default ESR factors off I remember I switched this off in during Valorant or some sort of stretch res I believe I remember so that's why this is off DSR smoothness is grayed out low latency mode is off max frame rate is off multi-frame sampled a MFAA is off open GL CDI compatibility is auto open GL rendering GPU auto select power management mode is normal preferred refresh rate micro stop MSI no idea what that is application controlled moving on down we got the shader cache size which is driver default texture filtering is off texture filtering negative lod bias allow texture filtering quality is quality texture filtering optimization is on threaded optimization is auto triple buffering is off vertical sync the 3d application settings virtual reality pre-rendered frames one virtual reality variable rate super sample is off vulcan open gl present method auto so yeah that's a mouthful i'll be honest i do not know half of any of these settings that i've just read out and said if this is going to help you guys because i've seen a lot of comments about this these are literally my settings from a global settings now if we go to program settings i believe this is where the main point where everyone wants to see my settings and as you can see on screen i'm not going to go into it actually i just realized because majority of this is actually the same this is exactly the same as my settings from the global settings so whatever is in here this is literally all it is so i'm just going to slowly scroll down for you guys instead because honestly if you guys want to copy this by all means um and yeah by all means i'm going to scroll up again because i guess this is what you guys were truly wanting to see i hope this helps any of you guys because honestly i have not really tweaked this i have not done anything to it this is literally out of the box you know, this is out of the box. And another thing, if you guys are still struggling on what each of these things mean, as you can see, if I hover over one to 
One of the descriptions, as you can see, it says extra filtering affects the crispiness of textures. So that's basically what it uses. And then it has typical usage scenarios. The image will be less blurred at higher settings. However, you may experience a decrease in performance. As you can see, it says application controlled. I could simply turn this off because if it says it may decrease performance, you don't need that. You don't want that, you know? So it, I guess for my computer, this is probably off anyway, because it says application controlled. You guys can go through this yourself for your own computer. I'm not advising you guys to copy my entire settings. At the end of the day, these are my settings for my computer. But if you have the same specs as mine, I have an i7 12th gen processor with a 3060 Ti and 16 gig RAM. And to one up that, I've also downloaded this game on an SSD. If you guys haven't, downloaded this game on an SSD, I would highly recommend you guys do so. And if you guys don't have a SSD, then I do apologize. I don't know what else to advise you because an SSD is like the box standard you need right now. So if you guys don't have an SSD, I'd recommend getting one. If you guys do have one, please transfer to your SSD. It's as simple as changing the location from copy and paste to your other hard drive. This, I don't know what this is. Moving on to display, we've got change resolution. I opt with whatever the PC resolution is, not the Ultra HDD SD thing. I, I don't really know what the difference is, but I always opt for this. And you can obviously change your refresh rate. Luckily, for some reason, the my monitor that I've got recently, this one, this new monitor that I've got, on the box it said 165, but for some reason it's 180, so I think I got a bargain there. But yeah, if you guys want to change your refresh rate, there you go. Um, moving on to the adjust desktop color settings, this depends on your settings of your monitor, you guys could change the contrast, brightness, whatever, however you want. This is just box standard for me. Rotate display is obviously landscape. We got view HDCP status, no idea what this is. I'll be honest, half of these things I don't know. Obviously audio, this is what it is like. Like, here's my settings as you can see um, the reason why it's the LG not the MSI is because I don't have any speakers for my monitor that I have that's the only downside moving on to the adjust desktop size and position we have aspect ratio perform scaling on perform scaling is on display and then we've got resolution which is my native resolution my current one and then once again we have the 180 hertz you can see the bigger picture of what my actual monitor looks like just an fyi moving on to set up multiple displays as you can see i've got two this is how my setup looks like if you guys are wondering got one here and then you can see it here then moving on to adjust video color settings once again it's box standard and finally adjust video image settings which once again this is as simple as it gets i once again just want to reiterate my point i have not touched any of this apart from the time where i've just turned on dsr factors and i've turned it off because of valorant and that was because of Retres, but I've just kept it off since then. I haven't really tweaked it. Everything is at default as possible because I haven't really gone into digest. I haven't really gone into, you know, the NVIDIA settings for myself because I don't personally need to. But for those who are once again struggling and trying to find the extra frames and extra optimization for your computer, then you could try my settings. I would not recommend them. But once again, if you guys do have similar specs to me, Try these out. Let me know what you guys think. I hope I can help because yeah. And now we're going to move on to the second section, which is the in-game settings. Just going to skip this because yeah, I'm going to use my keyboard and mouse here because my controller is not on. I'm going to go to game settings, go to display configuration. If you don't know where that is, it's literally behind my webcam. So after accessibility display, after this one there should be display configuration resolution is my actual base resolution full screen is my display mode refresh rate is 144 hertz frame rate is no limit on fps vsync off dynamic resolution scale off full frame rate the strand based hair off everything else on low and motion blur is off like i said i don't need to have a football game like this at the top best quality and the highest ultra settings when on pc you need to make sure you have the most amount of frames if we don't have the most amount of frames i'll be honest especially for a game like fc25 you need to have the most frames if you don't have the most frames your advantage goes your optimization will be absolutely whack and finally 
You won't have that edge compared to other players on PC and console. You won't have the smoothness of the animations in game. You won't have the smoothness in general of the gameplay or the menus and all these things build up and you will suddenly realize, oh snap, maybe I should have not played my game on Ultra this whole time because this is this is how it is. And for those who are wondering about the 144Hz uh, setting, I don't know if this makes a difference or not. I use a DVI cable from my PC to my monitor to make sure it works i don't know if that has any correlation but that's what i do that's what i use i use my hdmi cable for this monitor i use a dvi cable for this monitor i don't know if that has any correlation for literally the the whole 144 hertz settings but yeah that's my settings just an fyi and if you guys are still struggling with 144 hertz go to right click your desktop go to dis uh, display setting and head to scroll down until you see advanced display and it says to choose your refresh rate my out of the box said 165 on the box it says 165 for my monitor but i for some reason have 180 hertz it's unbelievable i've got an actual bargain i don't know if that's if that's fake hertz or if that's real if this isn't enabled your computer will not actually understand or configure itself so make sure this is on because it's always defaulted to 60 that's been my nvidia settings that's been my control panel settings that's been all the settings that you guys needed to and wanted to know from the comments from all the people that have been messaging me comment down below if you guys are still having issues because honestly i would just recommend nagging ea on live chat nagging them on tickets nagging them on everywhere else on social media putting in support tickets to make it on radar for ea because on their trello there isn't a thing about pc they for some reason cared about controller support but now they don't seem to care about optimization maybe they want to keep it on the down low maybe they don't but let's literally scream at them because it's it's a joke hope i have helped people if not then i do apologize subscribe if you haven't already take care and peace